Hello friends, uh, welcome to Coding Solution. Today I'll be creating my 20th C program and the program would be based on the decision in loop concept and it is an ongoing program of our series and this is the 20th program and it is the C program to display the prime numbers between two intervals. Okay. So earlier in the last program what we did is uh, we found the program to find or uh, 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 find the prime number uh, whether the number is prime or not and in this program what we will be doing we will be taking the interval for uh, from the user for example the user will be entering two um, numbers number one and number two and in between those numbers what is the list of prime numbers that can be displayed so without wasting further time let me start off just add a new empty file to the project has to be saved first and you can see already 17 programs 19 programs have been made so this is the 20th one okay so let me add the title c program okay let's see program to display Prime numbers between two intervals. Okay, the author for the program would be Aman Singh. So basically, what um, we'll be having uh, few assumptions are made there. Okay. Um, <coughs> In this program basically it is assumed that the user will always enter the small number first and then the larger number in case the user enters the larger number first and then the small number this program won't work no problem just continue on with the program I will tell you the solution for that okay so just define the header file hash include stdio.h int main take the two integers int n1 comma n2 and then define the counter flags as inj and take a normal flag by comparing that uh, we will be getting the number value whether it is prime or not so just pop up a message to the user enter two numbers bracket intervals okay and then put an scanner function and percentile d space percentile d comma m percent n1 comma m percent n2 so this is a regular process with the help of the above two function we have got the values of the interval okay so now what we need to do is we need to print the message to the user uh, prime number between percentile D and percentile D n1 comma n2 okay for int i all i is already defined i equal to n1 plus 1 you know uh, you can remember that uh, the last time when we did what we did is uh, we uh, ran the counter from i equal to 2 so that's why whatever would be the number the counter would be um, started from the next value of the number okay so now place it as i less than equal to n2 and plus plus i the value of i would be incremented okay then put the flag equals to zero here 
in case the value comes out to be true initially place the flag value as 0 ok now for j equal to 2 j less than or equal to i by 2 plus plus j whenever any interval value comes you need to do like this only put the for here and then if i modulus j double equals 0 flag equals to 1 and then we need to get out from the for loop ok so now we need to check it here if flag equals in last program what we did we initialize this flag outside here ok so now what we will be doing here we will be first uh, defining it is this for loop is used to define the range basically from in this range basically in this interval we are finding these many prime numbers ok if flag double equals 0 then print f percentile d comma i ok and then final return 0 <coughs> so this was not uh, a very very big uh, uh, scenario we can say what we need to do is it is almost just the same many of you might if you have followed the earlier video of mine for uh, finding out the prime number you would be easily able to get it that why I have placed these lines as in the order mentioned here only so <laughs> let me run this program for you all enter two numbers the intervals for example I need to find the prime numbers between 20 and 50 prime number between 20 and 50 are 2 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 correct okay so this was the order to do it in a much better way backslash t control s then let me again run this for you all 20 and 50 you see the prime number between 20 and 50 are 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 so it is basically showing us the series now uh, what I have told you that in case you enter the larger number first and then the smaller number the program won't work so how you can resolve it uh, if you are for following my series you could have seen that uh, there was one video to swap the value of two numbers ok so suppose this program can be um, very easy for example I can add a 4 